For over a year, Tejiri and her friends had been preparing for a wedding. They made a list of vendors who would help in the preparation, such as makeup artist, photographer, printer, caterer, baker, and so forth. All vendors were reached out to well in advance in order to avoid late delivery. Tejiri ensured that all the clients are people in Delta states because she doesn't want any will be delay in delivery from other states. Among the vendors chosen to take part of the production was a popular baker named Egono. She to handle the baking of the wedding cake and small chops. Egono had recently graduated from the university. Before now, she has never really dealt with customers as a full-time businesswoman. Her schedule had always been based on timetable exams, test dates, and holidays. In those days in school, whenever she can meet up, she informs the couple ahead of time and they hand over the contract to another client. Now that she has graduated, she hasn't gotten any major contracts outside school except that of Tage who just booked her, for they were schoolmates in the university back then, so she's not really used to life after school in connection with works. Meanwhile, before Tejiri gave Ekwano the cake contracts, Ekwano had recently applied for jobs at various companies. So while doing the cake business, she was expecting to be called for interview from any of the companies she has applied to. Fortunately, one company in Patakot called her for interview and she passed. She is to resume after Tejiri's wedding. She bought all the items down and decided to wait a few days to the wedding before making the cake, which she did. Before the wedding day, flood occurred in the country that led to many homes and roads getting damaged. This affected the road to Patakot as well as where Egwana is to pass through to resume her new work before finally moving there. As for the cake, she hurriedly made it and directed her friend to help her deliver it to the wedding the next day as she can't be in Delta the next day since she's to resume work in Portacot the following day. She followed through Anisha as the road to Portacot from Delta is totally bad because of the flood. I hope dwells on her friend Oshiko whom she had informed to help her deliver the cake. On getting to Portacot, when she was about getting some rest, she got a call from Oshiko about how she can get the key to her house in order to carry the cake the next day. Ekwana explained to her that she dropped it with her neighbor named Onos. On getting there the next day, Oshiko was told that Onos traveled and would be back in two days. The news reached Ekwana and she called Onos. Ono said, I thought you'd be back next week. I'm not around to give her the key now. Ekwano got crazy. She didn't know what to do and she can't send the spare key now since no vehicle passes through Delta Road but Onisha, which would take up to 10 hours. The wedding would be closed before it could get there. To avoid embarrassment, she sent money to Oshiko to help her do a new one. Time was running fast and Oshiko finished late. The bride and family had become Ekwano and she didn't pick because she had resumed a new work and no phone calls are allowed until break time or after closing. When Oshiko finally got there, the crowd were murmuring and some were throwing insultive words on her for coming behind schedule as the time of cutting the cake had passed. The couple had purchased an already made cake from a chopping mall and carried on. Egwana was turned down with the disappointment that the pain in her heart went a long way. The incident affected her friendship with Tejiri and Oshiko's. How and had no cake job until after a long time. She consoled herself with the new job she got. Otherwise, things wouldn't have been very easy for her. The good thing about it is that she got more experience on how to deal with situations like this next time. My moral lesson from this story is that we should always handle important situations carefully and we should not always rely on our friends because they are humans and they are imperfect so they can disappoint us. Thank you.